don't know why this always does this. That's terrible. I thought I had it working right. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little blog, vlog update. Uh, you may have been wondering. It's been a bit quiet around here. Um, and I'm writing this out in a blog post, so if you see me looking, I'm just going to read, be reading some stuff because I want to make sure, hello, um, I want to make sure that I kind of cover everything. So, uh, you may have noticed a few changes around here lately. One, that it's been a bit quiet, and two, that the name has changed. Um, some new branding, and I just kind of wanted to explain that quickly. Um... Uh, so first I dropped the beauty and the collective in Love Mother Beauty Collective. And now it's just called Love Mother Blog. So if you're confused and you're wondering, uh, I'm still the same person, but I decided to drop beauty and collective. Uh, my background, if you're new here, I mean, some of you might know this already, but my background is in the, hi Shelly, hi Lisa, happy Thanksgiving. I know, happy Thanksgiving, I should say that first um, to everybody in the States. We already celebrated our Thanksgiving about five weeks ago, um, but happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful time with family and friends, and I didn't even think about that when I posted this live. Um, I don't wanna be intrusive to your holiday. That was kinda silly of me. Anyways, let's, I've already started, so let's just keep going. Um, so if you've been here for a while, you know, but if you don't, my background's in the beauty industry. I worked as a hairdresser ever since I was 16, went to school for aesthetics, did makeup courses, worked backstage at hair shows, beauty shows, um, and loved that world. And <laughs> thanks, Nicole. <laughs> um, and I've just kind of totally lost my passion for that. So... I think it's an incredible art and skill and I have respect for people that are very involved in that world, um, but I just, it's just not me anymore. So since really changing my mindset to living a more intentional, purposeful life, you know, a little over a year ago, I just, I can't drum up the passion for that like I used to have. Um, there's nothing wrong with being, well, not nothing, <laughs> I'll get into that later, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just, it's not me anymore. And don't get me wrong, I think it's important as women, aw, oh, thanks Lisa, um, I think it's important as women that we feel beautiful, spend some time, you know, some effort on ourselves, but in the world of social media and comparison and all of that, it's very easy to, you know, what was I trying to say here? See, this is why I had to write it down. Um, Oh, and every new beauty treatment, I said, it's easy to get lost in the superficial and shallow. Beauty is not everything, and talking about beauty is just not something I care to share about anymore. Um, and more recently, I haven't been posting about it because I was trying to, to kind of round out my blog and the whole title of my blog, but I just didn't feel like I was being authentic to who I am now. And, you know, people grow and evolve and change, and that's cool, and that's okay. So, um, it's hard for me to articulate this part without like offending people in the beauty industry. But basically I just care more about advocating for foster care and adoption and the orphan crisis that our world is in um, than talking about lipstick and how to get the perfect beach wave and all that kind of stuff. Um, and see, like, I feel like that sounds even offensive, but I just, I'm just realizing it's not my path anymore. Um, so I just want to say, please understand my heart. I'm passionate about reaching mamas. Hey, <laughs> um, I'm passionate about reaching mamas who are interested in foster care and adoption, mamas who are looking for more simplicity and less overwhelm, you know, more routines for themselves and for their kids, and mamas who love Jesus or mamas who want to know more about Jesus and, you know, how that changed, how becoming a follower of Christ changed my life in the most beautiful way. So that's kind of who I'm here to connect with. And if you don't fall into any of that categories and you were here for some beauty stuff, which I doubt there's not many of you. Um, thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> uh, I doubt there's not many of you because I haven't been posting much of that lately. But um, if you're not interested in any of what I just said, then that's cool, we can part ways. Thank you for being here while you were. Um, but I just really am passionate about kind of spreading the message that I want to spread, that I feel God's led me to spread and that, you know, I really have passion. I know I already said that, but I just really have passion for it. Anyways, I feel like I'm rambling. I'm just going to go back to my notes here to make sure I've said everything I want to. Oh, I'm happy. I do get a lot of questions over Instagram and stuff about 
the way in my makeup's done or what I did with my hair, I'm happy to answer those questions still. I worked in the beauty industry for years. I, I do know the answers to many of your questions. Happy to answer them, but it's just not, I'm not gonna be creating any sort of content about that anymore. So what's important to me, living an intentional and purposeful life, foster parenting, adoption, home life, stay at home mom life, work at home mom life content, um, family and parenting, routines for moms and kids, like I said, and the most important thing to me, my Christian faith. So, uh, and I dropped collective because let's face it, that's just a mouthful and I'm trying to be more simplistic anyways. I have two bio kids with me. It's hard to find other foster parents and support online. Hi, Jessica. Um, thank you, Harvest Cleaner. Thank you for being here. Uh, okay, so this is probably what most of you want to know. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, did I say, I finished saying that. I dropped collective because I'm just trying to be more simplistic. Thank you, Nicole. I'm glad that you love it. Um, I'm just trying to be more authentic to who I really am. And it's not that beauty wasn't part of who I am, but it's just, honestly, I don't care about it anymore. I just don't care. Uh, okay, so I wanted to discuss a bit about the foster care content. Um, and I'm going to read this part to make sure I say it right because I've written this out and kind of just prayed about it and really read it over and over to make sure what I say is right. Uh, I've always respected identity when it comes to what I share. I never use real names, show faces. The purpose of posting foster care, foster care content or foster parenting content is to connect with and help other foster parents. And I have loved that I have connected with so many of you. I just, I love that about social media. I think social media can be a really shallow place, but I could, I think social media can be really wonderful as well because you can connect with like-minded individuals, you know, get support, get tips, get encouragement, get inspiration, entertainment, whatever it may be that you're looking for. But I love that part about social media. Um, and let's face it, there's not many uh, people supporting foster parents as we do this dis difficult task. Sure, many people say they do, but in reality, no one gets it like another foster parent. So I also share about foster care and adoption to encourage more people to get involved into fostering and adoption because the need is so great. The orphan crisis is immense. I try to stand up for the kids in the middle of a terribly broken system that where was I sorry sorry I know this is weird that I'm reading but like this part is really important that it comes across properly um, uh, where was I? I try to stand up for kids in the middle of a terribly broken system that sadly everyone with power just accepts as a foster parent I feel so helpless in advocating for the child's best interest we all have the responsibility but our voice doesn't seem to matter in saying that or sorry we have all of the responsibility but our voice doesn't seem to matter uh, you've helped us see behind the scenes stuff, which makes it less. It's, I mean, it's, it is intimidating. Foster care is a crazy world, but it's the best thing I've ever done with my life. And I'll, you know, I'll forever <laughs> testify to that fact. And I think your life will be changed for getting involved. And even more importantly, kids, these precious, beautiful kids' lives will be changed. Whether that's just one child that you help, whether that's 50 children that you help, it's an amazing thing that you're doing. So. Fostering is a lifestyle. Yes, it is. Hey, Mama. If you guys um, don't follow her already, hey, Mama, she just commented. We are going to do a collab later on. She's another foster mama here on YouTube, and she kind of gets what I'm going through right now. Um, so I'm going to just continue to explain here. But anyways, go follow her. Uh, okay. In saying that, when sharing my story, there's, of course, some overlap of their story. And recently, I've realized I am not being protective enough of their part of our story these precious lives entrusted to me. I get caught up too much in how I was being affected. I found support in the community with so many of you wonder people, wonderful people who get it. I needed prayer warriors to get me through a difficult time. But at the end of the day, it isn't about me. Becoming a foster to adopt parent <clears throat> um, and putting my heart on the line was a choice I made. The confusion and heartbreak is something I need to internalize a little bit more. Um, so if I post something like I feel like my world is ending, then please just pray for me and know that I'm in the thick of difficult. Uh, and when I can share information, I will. So for my fellow foster mamas, I know that so many of you have found help and hope, encouragement and support throughout my videos and blog posts. I want to thank each and every one of you for your beautiful emails, sweet messages and comments, um, support. I'm not going anywhere and will always be an ear to listen and a place of support and resources here on the on the channel and also on the blog. So 
<laughs> yep, Shelly, you are right. It's a complete fail. <laughs> but I mean, I have to think that at least there's a system here, right? Because in so many other countries, there's not even a system. And the alternative is orphanages where these children get treated horribly. So at least in Canada, in the States, the UK, we have a system. Um, so I want to give you an update of our situation. We care for a foster child who, who we have had for a long time. We would love to adopt our foster child and give them a forever family. Our adoption home study is completed. We let our guard down and let ourselves get excited about becoming a forever family. Plans changed. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, now we wait to find out if we get to become a forever family or if our story ends in complete heartbreak. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's hard. It's hard talking about this guys because it's, there's so much we want to share to support foster parents, but there's so much that we can't share. And I've tried to be very careful and protective of information, but I just, I haven't been protective enough. And I'm not going to say why you guys can think what you want to think and make your own thoughts about that. Um, but I was a caseworker and I listened to kids all the time. It's awesome that you're a caseworker. I, ha I, uh, I have respect for really good caseworkers, um, because it's a very difficult job, especially children's caseworkers. Um, I wish I, I, I wish I could say what I want to say and support you guys in the best way that I can, but I just I have to be really careful of what I say, um, not only for the protection of our foster child, but for decisions being made. So I hope you guys that our praying continue to pray for that update I just gave you that we are waiting to find out if we will be a forever adoptive family or not. Um, and as I get information that I can share, I will definitely share it with you guys. Um, I hope to be able to come back on this channel in the near ish future and say that we were able to adopt our foster child. Um, our foster child has been such a huge part of our lives. Uh, thank you for your prayers, Jessica. <laughs> uh, our foster child is a huge and a very important and special part of our lives. We all love our foster child completely, fully. <sighs> to think of them not being with us anymore just kills me. I don't know what's going to happen. In foster care, in any case, things go up and down and change and, you know, Things can be going one way one day and then the next day completely change. That's why they call it a roller coaster. I like to call it a foster coaster. Anyways, um, I think that's all I have to say. If you have any questions with respect to what I just said, please pop them down below and I'll answer them quickly before I jump off here. Um, sorry again. I don't know if anybody knows how to get your phone to film like this way it just keeps telling me it's locked and I did it once and I don't know how to do it again so if anybody knows because it's kind of driving me crazy that I have to put it this way and I'm holding it and it's all shaky and all that so anybody help me out there I feel like I should know I feel like I should just google it <laughs> anyways I just wanted to give you guys all an update um uh, I know I tried to find it in my settings but it's can't usually at the top bar uh I'm gonna have to, I did enable it and that's what I don't understand. Swipe down on home screen, pull down on the screen. Like, how? I don't know. I'll figure it out for the next one, guys. <laughs> um, Cause it was in settings and I did it once before or at least twice before and all the other times I haven't been able to do it. So I don't know, I feel like I messed something up. Anyways, I just, I love you guys. I just appreciate you all so much. Your prayers, your support, your love. Um, your questions, I'm happy to answer them. Google, <laughs> yes, I got to do it like an official, I, I thought I had it right this time. So then I was like, oh, it's like, oh, and perfect. Our, our little baby just woke up. <laughs> 
I hear a little squeak coming from the nursery. So to all my US friends, because I know 90 to 95% of the people that watch my channel are from the US, which is funny because I'm in Canada, um, but yay US because you have so many more foster parents, I think, um, which is awesome. And so happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I hope you guys enjoy um, time with your family and just being thankful for everything you have, remembering children that have come and gone, and just have a great and wonderful day. I'm going to be posting a huge Black Friday sale on my anchor and pineapple.com site tomorrow. Um, oh, I also have two kids homesick today, so if you're hearing, come and risk. Um, so if you want to check out that tomorrow, there's going to be a huge, like, huge free shipping, 40% discount. Um, so it's anchorandpineapple.com. You can check that out for tomorrow. It's just going to be a one-day sale. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm from Canada. I live in Ontario. Um, I don't say where in Ontario again for protection of the children that I care for. But yes, I am in Ontario, born and raised here. Lived in the same area within about an hour to an hour and a half ever since I was born. Um, this video will be here, so it takes a little bit to render. I'm just looking, reading a bright sunshiny day. Um, this video takes a little bit to render, but then it'll be up on my channel and I will leave it there. So um, just give it a few minutes and then you'll be able to go back and watch the replay. Anyways, guys, love you. Appreciate you all so much. Um, and I will see you on the next video. I have some really fun and exciting stuff coming up. So if it's a bit quiet, I'm just kind of reframing, reworking things and, uh, just kind of getting the blog in order. Anyways, I better go get my baby up and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.